Ever wondered which aircrafts ruled the sky during World War II? The Second World War was a period of fast-paced technological advancements, and the aircrafts produced during this era were no exception. These airborne giants designed for warfare have had a profound impact on the evolution of aviation, influencing the design and functionality of modern aircrafts. The planes that took to the skies during this monumental period of history were more than mere machines. They were critical tools in the fight for freedom and the birthplace of many aeronautical innovations. In this video, we will delve into the fascinating world of World War II aircrafts, exploring the most famous and influential models. We'll discuss their design, their capabilities, the roles they played in the war, and the pilots who bravely took them into battle. So let's take off into the world of these magnificent flying machines. First on our list is the Supermarine Spitfire from the UK. This iconic British aircraft known for its sleek, slender body was designed as an interceptor aircraft. Its aerodynamically refined design allowed it to reach a maximum speed of 580 km per hour, a feat quite impressive for its time. The Spitfire wasn't just about looks and speed though. Its design and structural integrity allowed it to sustain significant damage yet remain airborne, a feature that proved invaluable in the heat of battle. This meant that Spitfire pilots could keep on fighting even when their aircraft took a beating. The Spitfire's story begins in 1938, yet its role in the early stages of World War II was somewhat underplayed, with the Hawker Hurricane taking the lead in Britain's aerial defense. However, the Hurricane soon proved ill-equipped to match the might of German air superiority. This led to the Spitfire being thrown into the fray, where it certainly didn't disappoint. The Spitfire's power was unrivaled during World War II. It boasted eight machine guns, ready to rain down fire on enemy bombers and ground targets alike. The Spitfire was one of the few aircraft of the time that could seriously challenge the German Luftwaffe's star player, the Messerschmitt Bf 109. But the Spitfire was more than just a tool of war. Its development marked a pioneering moment in aviation, influencing the design of many other British planes during and after the war. It was a symbol of hope, resilience, and British ingenuity, which against all odds stood up to the formidable German war machine. The Spitfire's contribution to the Allied victory in World War II cannot be overstated. It not only defended Britain's skies but also went on to serve in every theater of the war. With its speed, firepower, and durability, the Spitfire played a crucial role in turning the tide of the war. Indeed, the Spitfire was a game-changer in British aviation history. Its legacy continues to inspire and influence modern aviation. And to this day, the sight and sound of a Spitfire roaring overhead is a poignant reminder of a time when the freedom of the world hung in the balance. Next, we have the formidable Messerschmitt Bf 109 from Germany. As the backbone of the German Luftwaffe during the war, this aircraft was a symbol of German engineering prowess and tactical genius. The Bf 109 was not just any plane, it was the most massively produced German aircraft ever, a testament to its importance and effectiveness in the war. The Bf 109 was a versatile machine capable of performing various roles on the battlefield. From defense to offense, from counterattacks to reconnaissance missions, the Bf 109 could do it all. This adaptability made it a critical asset for the Luftwaffe and a feared adversary for the Allies. But the BF-109 was not just about versatility, it was a highly advanced airplane, designed with several features that gave it an edge in the air. Its speed was one of its most impressive attributes, capable of reaching up to 640 km per hour. This speed, combined with its formidable firepower made the BF-109 a deadly force in the skies. Armed with machine guns, rockets, and bombs, the BF-109 could rain destruction on its enemies with ruthless efficiency. The BF-109's durability was another aspect that set it apart. This aircraft was built to last, able to take a beating and keep on flying. This resilience was a source of frustration for the Allies who often found their attacks on the BF-109 to be futile. The BF-109 was not just a terror in the skies over Germany, it was used by other Axis countries in several significant battles, including the invasion of Poland, the Battle of Crete, and Operation Barbarossa. The BF-109's presence in these battles was a significant factor in their outcomes, showcasing the aircraft's strategic value. And let's not forget about the pilots who flew the BF-109. 
legendary pilot Eric Hartman, who downed an unbelievable 352 enemies, flew this aircraft. The BF-109 topped the World War II charts as the deadliest airplane, a chilling testament to its deadly prowess. With its versatile roles and impressive capabilities, the Messerschmitt BF-109 was indeed a force to reckon with. Let's now turn our attention to the North American P-51 Mustang from the USA. A fighter aircraft with the capacity for long-range flights, the P-51 Mustang was a game-changer in the skies during World War II. Its design was a marvel of engineering, boasting features that gave it an edge in aerial combat. The Mustang was a versatile aircraft able to undertake a variety of missions, but it was in the role of long-range escort fighter where it truly shone. First used by the Royal Air Force and later the United States Army Air Forces, the Mustang was a vital element in achieving air superiority. Its extended range was a significant advantage, allowing it to escort bombers deep into enemy territory and back, a feat unmatched by other fighter aircraft of the time. The Mustang was not just a long-distance runner, it was also a sprinter. With a top speed of over 400 miles per hour, it could hold its own against the fastest enemy aircraft. The Mustang's speed, coupled with its ability to operate at high altitudes, made it a formidable opponent in the air. The P-51 was more than just a fast, long-range aircraft, it was also heavily armed, equipped with six machine guns and the ability to carry 230 kilograms of bombs, the Mustang was a threat to both air and ground targets. It was an aircraft that could strike with precision and power, making it a feared presence in the sky. The impact of the Mustang on the course of the war was significant. It was a key player in the strategic bombing campaign against Germany, protecting bombers from enemy fighters and helping to ensure the success of these critical missions. The Mustang was also pivotal in the Allied victory in the air, its superior range and performance contributing to the defeat of the Luftwaffe. The pilots who flew the P-51 often spoke of it with admiration and respect. It was, in their words, one of the best fighter planes they had ever flown. This sentiment, echoed by many, is a testament to the lasting impact of the Mustang. The P-51 Mustang, with its long range and high altitude capabilities, certainly left an indelible mark on Wubby-2. So there we have it, three of the most famous WA-2 aircrafts. The Supermarine Spitfire, a British marvel known for its sleek design and resilience, played a pivotal role in defending the skies over Britain. Then we have the Messerschmitt BAF-109, the backbone of the German Luftwaffe, a deadly aircraft that dominated the skies in numerous battles. And lastly, the North American P-51 Mustang, a long-range fighter that gave the Allies a fighting chance against the Luftwaffe's aerial superiority. Each of these aircrafts had their unique features, from speed and durability to firepower and range, that made them formidable opponents in the air. Their designs and capabilities not only changed the tide of the war, but also paved the way for advancements in aviation, influencing aircraft designs for years to come. These iconic aircrafts not only shaped the course of Wadey 2, but also influenced the future of aviation. Stay tuned for more historical insights in our next video.